Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So today we're going to do a little bit of a different build. We're going to do some leather work. We're going to build a belt out of some Wicket and Craig tannery leather. This is their olive. It's absolutely top tier quality. Um, really nice. So you can actually build this belt fairly cheap and it'll last for years. Let's get to it. Here I'm using a Skyver. I'll have links to everything I use in this video in the video description. So when you're thinning this down, you want to thin it down about six inches. That way you have enough to lap over we're gonna cut a slot for the belt buckle, and then there's two spots here to anchor it with some Chicago screws, which are basically like, they act like rivets, but they screw together so you can replace the belt buckles. So let's do that next. So for laying out these punch holes, we're gonna come a half inch from the end, then one inch from that. In this hole, we're gonna come three and seven eighths, and then one inch again. So those are our punch holes for the Chicago screws, and then we're gonna put a slit for the uh, bar to come through of the belt buckle. I like to go three quarters of an inch from the center of these two holes in, and that's gonna be my slot for the belt buckle post to come through. So I like to come two inches in for my first loop, and then every three quarters. Give the punch a little beeswax. Helps lube it up a little bit so it doesn't stick quite as bad. And if you press, it gives you a little bit of an indication if you're centered on the hole.
Now we're going to use what's called an edge beveler just to create a little chamfer. Pro tip, don't forget your belt keeper. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, be sure to give Leatherwork a try. I think you'll enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. You don't need a big workshop to do it. Um, that's one of the biggest pluses to it. And you can get in cheap. So give it a try. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. And we'll see you next time.